What's up everyone? Okay, I want to show you a quick little clip of a video of a guy I've been watching on YouTube for a while now. He's the one. He kind of gets me inspired of doing fabrication work. <clears throat> He's a very good guy. Never met him in my life, but I do watch him almost every single day before I go to work after I go to work, on the weekends, everything. Now, he ended up taking a vehicle, an old school Dodge car, and transformed it over into a pickup truck. So, I wanna show you something. This is who inspires me of doing fabrication work, who I never did fabrication work on any vehicle before. I never tried it. Uh, I was always afraid of doing it because I was afraid that you would mess up and then you'd be out of material and everything. But this guy here, his name's Bad Chad. He's the one that inspired me of taking the leap of faith and trying it. Because if you screw up, you can always fix it. If you weld it onto something, you can always cut the welds off and you can fix it. So, I'm going to let you guys watch this for a second, and then we're going to go out to the garage, and we're going to see uh, what other kind of work I need to do on the Kia. It's a bumper on it. I'm not sure yet if I can get the buckets and, and deal with the buckets and get the, the doors and stuff like that. I probably will just leave it alone, probably, just because of the fact we have to modify uh, modify the other headlights to work. They can always work on something else. But let's just take a walk around. Jolene, you can take a walk. We get the windshield undone. Kind of gives it a different effect. So we're 30 days in. We had a car with no front end on it. It was a four-door. With the humpback on it, and uh, we turned it into a truck. Uh, this part here, on the, uh, this part here was the trunk of, of the car. Uh, this part, here, this piece here, was another piece of the roof that went on the back of it. Um, the rock, we put new rockers on it. This is the rocker here. We put sills on it, and I guess we call the sills is this piece in here. We put the new sill on it inside here. Uh, we put a new cab corner on it. Cab corner on it here. Have not got that ground off yet. This was the gas door in the back. It was took a piece of metal that was off the truck and welded that in there. We made some new running boards. New running boards for it. Uh, we used the back window out of the four door car. Uh, this piece right here is the, the pieces out of the two back doors. The, the body moldings, the lines are trim, or not trim, but body moldings on the back door. Uh, we fabricated a piece for the back of the roof. And we fabricated a piece for the, for the top of the roof. We also fabricated metal for the back of the Kia. Um, we made the stake pockets. Uh, you watch us do that, exhaust pipe and, and bent steel. Um, it's amazing how these look like the originals. We did not, I know you probably do not believe me. <laughs> It's just like Tim said, they look too, too with a similar to uh, not believe, but we made with. So, in that video that I just did, now it's going to get dark for a second, so you're not going to see me. <clears throat> so, if you give me a second. out here to the gold rawage so <clears throat> the first part of this video that I just showed you again his name's bad Chad if you never heard of him <clears throat> go to YouTube type in bad Chad look him up he's from Canada fucking awesome dude I love his work uh, I've been around cars ever since 
I was able to walk. Um, I've been around cars all my life. I have bought cars, sold cars, traded cars, uh, fixed cars, body work on cars. Um, this past summer, I just got back into painting cars. Um, I just got back into doing the painting part of doing that kind of work. Um, last time I ever painted a car was uh, 2010. No, 2005, 2006, I had a Pontiac Le Mans that I bought white. I ended up putting silver stripes on it. And then I ended up moving to a different town with the woman I did marry, the, the, my, my kids' mom. I moved with her to her hometown. And uh, I ended up right before my daughter was born. Or right after my daughter was born, I ended up taking the car and painting it uh, jet black. And my grandfather helped me paint it. That was the very first car I ever painted. And then I did some other work after that. So the last car I ever... The last car I ever painted was my 1992 Pontiac Le Mans hatchback two-door. That was the very last car I painted. And then my grandpa always told me, Hey man, you know, you're you're so good at body work and you're so talented at uh, doing body work. Why don't you try to do fabrication work? Why don't you learn? And I was always afraid of doing that. <clears throat> I was always afraid to get some sheet metal, bend it, tack weld it in because if you do... Once I always thought once you get it tack welded, you, it will never be removed after that. It can never be cut up. It never be cut out and removed. I thought once you tack weld something in, once you weld something in, it's done. It's over with. It, it won't be able to come back off. So, I started watching Bad Chad uh, three years ago. Two or three years ago, I started watching them. And then I was like, you know, and my wife, who I'm with now, she goes, why don't you get into doing fabrication work? There is nobody in this town that will, it, it can do fabrication work. Like, there probably is, but not like how bad Chad does it, where he takes and chops up a car and builds it into a truck, you know, or or takes a, a truck and builds it into a car, or or chops it up and extends it and makes a big old Cadillac out of it, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm just so scared of doing it. I'm afraid of doing something like that because I'm afraid I'm going to screw up. So I started watching Bad Chad. I've been watching his videos and I always have someone somewhere that inspires me in different ways, just like Seafowls. I have him in he inspires me in a different way. Uh, Bare Bones, he inspires me in a different way. Uh, Power Stroke, Ryan Up Church, they all inspire me in a different way. Um, <clears throat> Progressive, he inspires me in a different way. Um, Shay Darker, he inspires me in a different way. All those people inspires me in different ways. So, I take... Everything that everybody inspires me of, and I try to bring it into one, right? So, that's why I'm doing videos, because of Power Stroke, uh, Sea Fowls, and all them. That's why I'm doing videos. That's why I'm trying to continue in continuance doing the videos i'm trying to still put out content i'm trying to still become somebody i'm trying to make a name for myself right so what i love to do is work on cars and i love to help people so <clears throat> when i started watching bad chad he inspired me that you can have scrap material laying around or you can take a pole a pole 
and put it into a vehicle, right? Whatever you got laying around in your garage, you can build a car out of it, right? So, one day, <clears throat> uh, my, my lady, she ended up uh, getting a phone call from her parents saying, hey, you know, uh, if you guys are interested, um, well, we found out, we found out her dad was going to get rid of this. He was going to either scrap it or sell it for a couple hundred bucks. So they're like, well, her dad was going to do some work around the house. So we ended up doing work around the house, helping her parents out. And then they gave us the, the Kia. So. Once we got the Kia here, I started coming up with some ideas. And then my wife was taking an idea that her dad had, that when he had this, the clothes in the back and make a pickup truck out of it, right? It's not a big pickup truck, just something small that you can throw, you know, mulch in or hay, straw, you know, dirt, uh wood you know anything you can haul stuff in it but you just can't haul a big things right but at the same time she wants something convertible so when we got this <clears throat> i came up with an idea let's combine her dad's idea into our idea right so i started watching bad chad a couple years ago three two three years ago and then I really start watching them every single time I have a chance. I watch and watch. And then I seen him chopping up stuff and doing this. And he's inspiring people. Hey, if, if I can do it, you can do it. Da-da-da-da. So, when I got this in the garage, I was looking at rocker panels. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy some rocker panels. We will fix it up for you. Da-da-da-da. Rocker panels are expensive. Then one night I was sitting there watching Bad Chad, and he's like, man, you know, in one of his videos, he was making legit rocker panels out of sheet metal. Literally. He's had the same thought. Why buy rocker panels? They're so damn expensive when I can just make them. He was thinking the same thing that I was thinking, so I was watching one of his videos, how to make rocker panels. Very easy. You just got to buy sheet metal, and then either, you, like him, he's got all the ways to roll it and beat it and do stuff. He's got the tools to do it. I don't. So I have to do everything by hand, right? So, got this thing in the garage. First thing I started working on is rocker panels. So, I made rocker panels. So that went really good. Then I started looking into wheel wells. Buying wheel wells for this thing. Wheel wells are too damn expensive. So what did I think of? Making my own wheel wells. Let's fabricate some wheel wells in here. Let's cut out the rust and put new in. Cut out the old, put new in, right? So that's what I'm doing. So... Bad Chad inspired me to take the leap of faith of trying something I never did, and I did it, and it turned out good. So, if you put your mind to it and just take that leap of faith, you will be able to do anything. Everybody told me that I wasn't able to to take steel or sheet metal and make rockers. There's a couple people that told me there was no way that it was possible that I could do it. Because I never did it in my life. Never done it. I proved them wrong. I'm the type of person that I can prove people wrong. So, just like my town, if you watched my last video. I'm just like everybody else. I, I like the views. I like the, like the subscribes. But I'm not in it like that. I'm not trying to make. 
I just trying to make people happy. I'm just trying to get my name out there. I just want people to recognize who I am. I want people to recognize my work. I want to I want people to look at a vehicle and be like, "Damn, dude, you did a hell of a fucking job on there." And I need some work done to a car. Can you bring it to me? That's the way I want to make my money. I want to make content for the people who thinks the way I think. Who are afraid to take that leap of faith. And if I can take that leap of faith, you can take that leap of faith. If I can do it, you can do it. If you are, if you got common sense, and if you got the, the smarts, and you're able to work with your hands very well, you can do stuff like this. But you have to step outside the box. You can't let people sit there and tell you you cannot do something. I'm the type of person that someone's going to sit there and be like, you can't do it. I'm going to prove you wrong that I can do it. And I know I can do it. Okay? Just like everybody says, you're not going to make it on the internet. You're not going to make it on YouTube. Guess what? I'm still putting out some kind of content. I'm still trying. Just because people told me I could not do it, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. I might not be making money. Everybody's like, oh, you're never going to make money off of YouTube. Okay, so what? But you gotta, you, you, you can't just put out videos and, and not make money. That's just a waste of time. I would never do that for free. Okay, that's you, not me. You told me I cannot do this. And there's people on the internet telling me, hey, you need to stop making videos because it sucks. Okay, so what? They suck. Don't subscribe. Don't fucking like, like the video. Don't. Who cares? Who cares? Between all these people that I have met, and I have named off just a few minutes ago. And I can name them. Seafowl, Spare Bones, Shade Darker, Bad Chad, Power Stroke, Ryan Upchurch, Progressive, Rusty Truck, all them guys. And there's more to name. Telling me, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing it. You're doing good. Keep doing it. And guess what? I'm still putting out content. I might not have time, but I always figure out a way to put out content somehow, some way. And if you don't fucking like it, so be it. But I'm telling the people right now, I'm telling the people. You can do it. If this is what you want to do, stand behind a camera and make content, do it. Just do it. Just pick up the phone, go in front of your laptop, and just hit that play button and make you a video. Find something that you like. It could be drawing. It could be painting. It could be welding. It could be making art out of metal. This is my art. This is what I'm making. And everybody's like, well, you can't you can't have this done before the first of the year. You can't have this done by next summer. You can't have this done before the snow falls. You can't do this. You can't do it. I'm tired of people telling me I cannot do something. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people telling me that I'm not going to make nothing of myself. I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of people going on the internet telling people and getting pissed off at people because they don't like what they talk about. So what inspired me to keep doing this is a guy from Canada, Bad Chad. Bad Chad's the one inspired me to make a video of working on cars there's other people other creators 
inspired me to make videos of me working on cars. Now the object is, is to do the video why I'm working on the cars. And not forget about picking up my phone and putting it on a tripod and... You know, see what I'm saying? I gotta try to juggle a phone in a hand while I'm trying to weld something or bend something. So, a while back I ended up buying this little guy. Right here. I ended up buying this little guy. It will sit anywhere and everywhere. So, look out guys. It's time to make some videos this winter. It's time to make some videos of me working on this guy. It might not be perfect. It might look like shit when I first start. And it might look like something that some other guy wouldn't do. There might be other people out there looking at my videos going, I wouldn't done I wouldn't tack weld there. I would attack weld over here. I wouldn't have laid bondo. I would have laid fiberglass and then bondo. Or I would have laid fiberglass over that little hole instead of cutting it out and fucking welding a piece in. Okay, so what? That's you. That's not me. That's you, not me. I'm going to do it my way because at the end, our ways are the same way. At the end, it comes out at the end the same way. It don't matter how you do it. It all comes together at the end. Right? Just like it looked like crap. But goddamn, it looks like a freaking rocker panel to me. It's got the curve and everything. It's got the curve and all. Look at that. It's got the curve and everything on it. It looks like a goddamn rocker panel to me. Just like this, this, uh, this, just like this, uh, wheel well. Looks like just a hole to me. But at the end, that hole will look like a wheel well. It will literally look like a wheel well at the end. This back end here, right here, it's all going to be, it's all going to be, uh, look like a pickup truck in the back, right? It's going to look like a pickup truck. Is it taking me a while to do it? Yes, it's taken me a very long to do it. I've been working on this thing for about two months now. Why? Because I got bills. I got a job. I got to work. I got to work to pay my bills. This thing is not costing me nothing. This thing ain't bringing me in money. If it was bringing me in money, it might be all... It might be almost done, but if I had a lot of money sitting in my bank, this thing probably would be done, even though it's mine or my wife's. This thing would be done. If I had a lot of money in my bank account right now, I'd probably have this thing fucking done out of the garage, driving, no problem. I wouldn't have to wait. Till the next paycheck comes and be like, oh shit, I got to pay electric and gas. Let's put that away and we'll get the parts next week. See what I'm saying? Luckily, I got sheet metal sitting right here. I got all this stuff right here. It might not look like a lot, but there's stuff sitting there. There's stuff sitting over here on this table. There's stuff right there sitting. There's stuff up here on this shelf right there sitting. I got plenty of metal right now. Hell, I might even cut up this chair and use this chair. Or I might just say fuck it and get rid of everything on the shelf and use my metal from my shelf just to get this Kia done. Because I know I can do it. I know I can do it.
Now it's time to make videos of me doing it. So. Hopefully this week and I can make some content of me working on this. Hopefully I can figure out a way to set up my tripod so I can put my phone on it and make you guys some content of me working on this thing tonight, or, uh, this weekend. I was thinking about maybe doing a video tonight, but I'm getting kind of tired tonight. Okay? If you can do it, or if you want to do something... And people are telling you you cannot do it. There's no way in hell you can do it. Just like I want to change my hometown. Speaking of hometown real quick. I'm going to throw this in here real quick. I am buying. I am getting a P.O. box. At the first of the year. I'm getting a P.O. box. Because there's a lot of people in my hometown that needs help. And uh, there are some who are struggling to pay their bills. But mainly there's a lot of people It's living on the streets with their kids. And I do not want to see that. Or their kids are not living with them. They're living at a grandparent or somewhere's house. And they just don't have the room to have the, the mom or dad living with them. <clears throat> so now the mom and dad is out on the streets living in tents and stuff. Until they can find that job. After they get out of the depression. They're trying. There's people like that in my hometown, so I'm going to set up a P.O. box. I'm not asking for money or anything. I'm just going to set up a P.O. box. If anybody has any clothes that they want to donate, that's fine. Hats, hoodies, uh, any sh tennis shoes, all that stuff. I know I was on Seafow's uh, channel earlier. He had a live panel, and he was talking about... Uh, and doing something for Christmas for everybody. I wish I wish I could do that uh, this Christmas for a lot of these people here in my hometown. But I, I just uh, it, it's it's way Christmas is what in a week, so I just don't have time to do it with my full time job and stuff and put out content so you guys can see where the money's going and and stuff like that and i don't want i don't want to take anybody's money and them sitting there going well he hasn't made a video for a couple days so what's he doing with my money no i i just i i can't do that so i figured after the first of the year i can start helping my hometown out so i'm gonna start a p.o box and if people want to donate or send something uh, so you guys can see me walk around town or drive around town or whatever and pass out certain things to some of the homeless, then, uh, then you guys have a PO box you guys can ship it to. So I know I have a bag of kids clothes and adult clothes, some hoodies, some jackets and stuff in the house. I think what I'm going to do here, uh, next week when I'm on uh, Christmas break, I'm going to go. And I'm going to hand out some clothes to some of the homeless. I'm literally going to go to their home in the woods. And try to get close enough to them out spooking them. And out freaking them out. Where I can donate some of this stuff to them. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. So hopefully in the future. Hopefully. Maybe eventually I can start making some money off of YouTube where I can give that money I make off of YouTube back to my community, to my neighborhood. And then uh, the money that I make off of chopping up cars and building them badass where I can sell those cars, fixing them up and reselling them, some of that money can go and maybe potentially build a building so in the winter and in the summer mainly in the winter people have a place to go to lay their heads with their children or in the summertime they still have a place to go take a shower a bath with their kids or spend time with their kids have electricity and stuff like that where they're not going to destroy everything just so they can take the next step on getting a job <clears throat> Because everybody has, everybody has 
a time in their life where they lost a job and they're down and out. Where where they can't afford to go out and, and get a place and they don't want to go for an interview looking like a scrub. You know what I mean? So if I can help push some of these people, give them some nice clothes so they can look nice at least... And they can go and get it, do an application, get that interview to make themselves look good and look nice so they can get that interview, so they can get that job. Then so be it. That's what I'm going to do. Because ever since I started doing this channel, everybody has been so nice to me. And never once I took a handout. And never once nobody sat there and goes, hey, Joker, here's this. To help you go to your next step in your life. Here, here's this. Everything we, anybody on, on the YouTube community, everybody has had to start from the bottom and work their way up. And they had to work hard to get where they're at today. Just like Seafouse. He works hard to get where he's at today. Just like Bad Chad who inspired me of stripping cars down, cutting them in half and building something badass out of it and uh and there's bare bones on different things see what see what i'm saying so there's people out there who will inspire you to do something in a different way and a lot of these people inspired me as hey you're doing a good job keep up the hard work you know that means a lot to me because i never had that i never had anybody sit there and tell me i'm doing a good job i never even when I was a kid, nobody, I came home with an A plus on my, on my spelling test. Nobody sat there and said, Hey man, good job. Keep up the hard work. No, they would look at it and be like, about fucking time you did something, right? About time you did something, right? About time you listen. About time you stop being a dumbass. And now I met all these people on the internet saying, hey man, good job, keep up the hard work. And it's like, wow, cool. And that's what inspires me. You know, and that's what, that's what people, people want to hear. They need to hear that. So these homeless out here, they need to hear that. So with me taking all the knowledges I'm learning... And putting them in something creative and trying to do this. So here's my content for YouTube. So, bam. Everybody's helping. See? Everything comes together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See that? So, with that being said, thank you to all of the people out there who inspired me in some sort of way to do what I do today. So, thank you. And Bad Chad... If you're watching this, thank you very much for inspiring me into doing what I love to do. With that being said, Joker 1014's out. You guys have a lovely day. And always remember, stay positive, stay true, and you will go somewhere. Just stay positive. And don't let anybody tell you you cannot fucking do it because you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. With that being said, I will have a video this weekend of me making the wheel well. We will cut that section and back out and I will re-weld it in and we will go from there. So with that being said, God bless. See you guys in the next video.